Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech. Today I have five Mac productivity apps that you must have if you're working from home during this time of the coronavirus and social distancing. A lot of us are working from home. Some of us are even utilizing our own personal equipment to get work done. And so if you're on a Mac and you're looking for ways to be more productive and get more done, hopefully this video will help you out. Now, before we dive into the five apps that I think are super useful, you definitely wanna check out Clean My Mac. Mac. Clean My Mac is an application that helps your Mac keep clean and stay running strong. A lot of times we have a lot of downloads and different things that we get onto our computer, applications that we install that we no longer use, and different things start to clog up our computer. And a Mac is interesting because using an app like Clean My Mac, you can actually get through those files and get them cleaned up. Clean My Mac will scan for files that are old, that may be large, that are utilizing a lot of disk space. You can use Clean My Mac to clear up things that may be hanging up in the memory of your computer that are slowing it down. Clean My Mac will help you find those applications that you haven't used in a long time so that you can delete them if you no longer need them. And Clean My Mac can also fix a lot of underlying issues that your computer may be having that's preventing it from running at its best. Definitely check out Clean My Mac. There's a link down in the description for you below for a special offer so that you can get access to that application. So the first thing that you need to be more productive on your Mac is a good email client. Now, depending on your work, you may be required to use a certain email client, such as Outlook or whatever, for logging into the different services that you need for your work. But for me, I use Spark as my email client, which is pretty much cross-platform. Uh, it works on uh, iOS, Android, an iPad, and a Mac, and I think they're working on a Windows app right now. But Spark is great because it allows you to log into all of your different email accounts. It makes it easy to manage things like signatures. You can create like canned email responses that are common responses to emails that you get. You can schedule all of your emails to go out at a certain time. You can snooze emails for later. There's a lot of different interesting things that you can do with the app that are really great and make a lot of use. It also ties in with other applications so you can actually send email to your to-do list and do a lot of different things like that just so that you can be the most productive as possible with your email, which definitely can become a clog for a lot of us. So Spark is an app that I highly recommend that you check out. The second one is a good product management or organizational tool like Notion. I've been utilizing Notion to organize my life and my work life and everything all around it, and it's been a great tool. What's great about Notion is that there are a lot of templates and things that you can use to kind of get started, to start building, but you can also build your own tools from within Notion. All of us have different activities in our own personal lives and our work lives that we have to organize and structure, and not all those fit into the same structure the same thing. We can't just build one thing that fits all of us. Notion allows you to maybe start with a template and modify it to fit your needs in and around things like task management, project management, a CRM, like all these different things you can build in Notion. I use Notion these days for my calendar, for my tasks, for my product management. I have a client CRM. I have a personal CRM so that I can keep updating all of my communications with not only clients, but also with the people in my personal life so I don't let anything slip through the cracks like important dates and stuff like that. So I'm utilizing Notion in a lot of different ways. I'm utilizing it for my daily log so that I can write down and keep track of the different things that are going on through my day, especially during crazy times like this where there's lots of interesting things and thoughts that pop into our head. And I wanna write those down just so that I can remember what was going on in my mind and think about them later. Um, sometimes it's easier just to get them out of our head and put them into something. That's what I use my daily log for in Notion. So Notion's a great tool for that. There's tons of, of templates. I have templates of my own that I'll share with you down below in the description. And then of course, on my personal YouTube channel, I've talked about Notion in a variety of different scenarios. So if you wanna learn more about Notion, you can definitely check it out by heading over to that channel. Slack is a great communication tool. A lot of businesses use it and organizations so that they can communicate together. But a lot of people don't know that you can just create a Slack channel and use it for any form of communication. So if you have a small group within your church or a group of friends or a 
running club or anything like that where it's now harder for you to communicate. Maybe some people that you typically go to the gym with or whatnot. Uh, group text messaging doesn't always work out for you guys. Uh, creating a Slack channel in and around a specific topic or a group or a purpose is definitely a great idea because you can create different topics within that Slack channel. And of course you can have different topic conversations and stuff that are going on in there. You can share photos, you can upload documents, you can do all the different things within Slack. It's a great communications tool and it's a great way just to keep everything tied together. If you are part of a smaller business that is struggling with having a way to communicate, Slack might be a great option for all of you because email sometimes can get kind of convoluted and a little bit tricky as far as communicating. If you're used to being able to just get up and go into somebody else's office or holler over the wall of a cubicle, Slack might be a great option for you and your organization that you can introduce it to them. So definitely check out Slack. I don't really have any tutorials on how I use Slack, but when I had staff and a small uh, team, we used Slack for communication because it made it easy to go back and see those different topics that we were talking about, sharing files together and stuff like that from within Slack for updating or approval. These are all things that Slack is really good at, so I highly recommend checking it out. It is relatively free for smaller groups and for a certain amount of data transfer and storage, so Slack is not something that's gonna cost you money out of the box. Most people get away with using Slack for free, kinda like how Evernote, most people can get away with using Evernote for free. Number four is a good text app like Draft. Sometimes we just need to get text into something like a notepad or whatnot. And Drafts is a great application because it has an application for pretty much everything. It's cross-platform, it's simple. A lot of times I just dictate some text right into Drafts and then I deal with it later because it's super easy to get into the app, dictate really quickly and get out of it. If you have an Apple Watch, you can dictate right into Drafts and then it'll show up on your device. It's super easy to utilize this tool. And the reason that I'm mentioning it over something like Evernote or the typical notebook app that is on your device is that it is super easy to get in and out of. It's cross-platform and it just works every single time. So it's very easy to use. So definitely check out Drafts. The last is your task management, which I mentioned before, I utilize Notion for a lot of task management, but for getting tasks into something really quick, Notion can be a little bit tricky sometimes for that. So I use TickTick to actually just dump all of my tasks into. When I have something new, it's easy for me to throw it into TickTick, really easy and just get it in there and then organize it or structure it later. Maybe even take those tasks and put them into Notion later, depending on what they are. But TickTick -tick is really easy because it's just really easy to get tasks into TickTick -tick by just typing in exactly what you want to do in a similar way that you would ask for a reminder on your device. So if you need to remind yourself to check your email or something like that, you can say check email at 5 p.m. That's all you put in there and then it's automatically going to set a reminder for you to check your email at 5 p.m. It's very easy, very simple to use. You can organize and structure by different topics or projects or whatnot in TickTick. -tick. It's just a very simple app and it's cross-platform. Of course, like I said, I utilize Notion for a lot of my tasks because a lot of my tasks are tied into a client or a specific project and I like to have all those connected, but that's a little bit more advanced. And so for TickTick, -tick, it's much easier for me just to get tasks tasks in there and then I can manage them from there whether I leave them in TickTick -tick or I put some of the more important ones in Notion. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that this topic on productivity apps for your Mac helped you out. A lot of us utilize Macs. We wanna be more productive and get more done, especially in these times when things are a little bit different. We need to communicate in a different way. We need to get work done in a way that is different than normal. So making sure that our devices are optimized as best as possible and running strong using an app like Clean My Mac, you definitely want to make sure that you have what you need to get things done so it doesn't to frustration. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for checking it out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and click those links below in the description. Uh, some of them are affiliate links and help support the channel, but I have notated which ones are. Everything that I have mentioned in here is free to use or try, and there are no payments or anything involved there. I definitely don't want people getting involved in payments. The only app that's going to cost you a little bit of money is Clean My Mac, but I think it is highly worth having because 
because our computers need to run fast. We need to be able to get things done so that we can get back to dealing and caring for our family and those that are around us in our community. So stay safe and definitely take care of yourself. Share with me anything that you have questions about, comments about, Mac apps that you love down in the comment section below. Let's have a discussion down there and hope to see you back in the next one. Take care.